Hello and welcome to our spring virtual open event for veterinary nursing and veterinary care. I would also like to welcome you to Caffrey's beautiful Greenmount campus, which is located outside of Antrim and only 20 miles from Belfast. Greenmount first opened its doors over a hundred years ago when the focus was on agricultural education. However, over the years, the number and range of courses have increased with veterinary nursing commencing in the 1990s. Now, every September, Caffrey welcomes over 50 veterinary nursing and veterinary care students to the campus. Greenmount is internationally recognised for its superb facilities and staff and the very close association it has with the agri-food and veterinary industry. Many of those working in veterinary nursing have passed through these doors and accredit Greenmount for their success. Former students remember the course they completed and the lifelong friends and fun they had while they were students here. And that hasn't changed. Greenmount is still buzzing and there's a real sense of community spirit here which people will remember long after they graduate. Greenmount is a beautiful place to study and over the years there's been a lot of investment in teaching and learning resources and it doesn't stop there. Over the next number of years there will be even more investment in new staff and student accommodation and science facilities. So as you have heard, Greenmount really is the place to be and has lots to offer. So welcome. I hope you enjoy our virtual open event. Good evening everyone and a very warm welcome to the Greenmount Campus Library and to this virtual open event for veterinary nursing education courses delivered at CAFRE. The focus of this evening is our veterinary nursing provision and over the next 30 minutes or so, um, myself and course manager Sean, Siobhan Shepherd will tell you about the courses we have on offer, the facilities uh, that are available and we'll hear from some current and former students and we'll also take uh, tours of the facilities that we have available for the delivery of our veterinary nursing education courses. This is a live event, so please give us a thumbs up as you listen. And if you have any questions, please submit those as well, and we'll do our best to answer those this evening. But if not, we'll get back to you uh, sometime later after the event. So as I say, I'm joined this evening with and by Siobhan Shepherd. Siobhan is the course manager for veterinary nursing and we're going to look at the courses that are available now uh, for the next few minutes. Siobhan, uh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us, Siobhan, then the courses that we offer in CAFRI related to veterinary nursing? Yes, George, we offer two courses here at Greenmount Campus near Antrim. The first course is a level two certificate for veterinary care support. That's a one-year course um, where students would be training to work as an auxiliary nurse in a veterinary practice. Um, that course, uh, college or students attend one day per week here on campus, and they then must be either working or in a work placement, volunteering, for up to 18 hours a week, which will combinate to 600 hours across the one year. The course runs from September to, to June. Um, and as I said, the course really provides those key skills that they need to work as an auxiliary nurse. So there are six units they complete and they're assessed using a portfolio um, where they gather evidence from their workplace and they cover key things like legislation, safe work and practice. They cover anatomy, basic anatomy of the key species that they will be working with, which is um, dogs, cats, rabbits and guinea pigs are the four species that they would look at. So they cover the, the anatomy of those, they also cover basic nursing care um, and things uh, that support then their role when they're working um, in a veterinary practice. Okay, so that's the level two provision. It is. Our other course then? Our other course then is a level three diploma in veterinary nursing for companion animals. And again, similar to the, the level two, the main species they look at are dogs, cats, rabbits and guinea pigs. So that's what the nurses would be training to work with. Um, that course it takes approximately two and a half years um, and it's based one day a week on campus and then the student must be employed then a CAFRI approved training veterinary practice. So at the moment there's 56 of those across Northern Ireland so the student must be working there a minimum of 25 hours a week for the duration that they're on the course. 
because the nurses are working towards uh, joining the RCVS, so the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons register, of, uh, which is for registered veterinary nurses. So that's what the course will lead students to to join once they've completed it successfully. Okay, and you mentioned there the RCVS, um, so that's the accrediting body. What other role has the, the that our organisation in the delivery? Um, well, that organisation regulates the profession, so nurses ultimately are training to join a professional body called the RCVS. They also regulate us as a centre and our role then is to regulate the training practices. So we would appoint a training practice um, as a suitable place for a student to, to be trained in. So they kind of cover all aspects of the veterinary nursing training provision. Okay. Um, Siobhan, so anyone listening this evening interested in applying? For either the level two or the level three, do students pay fees? They do. The level two course is four hundred pound, and the level three course is one thousand four hundred for the whole course, and that's a combination of registration fees with the awarding body, um, the regulation body, the RCVS, and then exam costs. Okay. At this point, uh, we're going to hear from one of our current students, uh, Christine O'Neill. Uh, Christine is a graduate of the Level 2 course and has progressed uh, to the Level 3 diploma and working to become a registered veterinary nurse. So Christine's going to tell us about her career pathway to date and how she's finding her time on the Level 3 diploma course. Hi, I'm Christine. I live in Belfast and I'm currently studying the Level 3 Veterinary Nurse course at Caffrey Greenmount. I got onto the Veterinary Nurse course by doing the a and course first where I did a year's placement in a veterinary practice and I learned all my basic nursing skills, cleaning kennels, how to handle and restrain animals and the day-to-day -day, um, running of the veterinary practice gained loads of experience, loads of confidence and decided I wanted to go on and do the veterinary nurse course then after. I'm currently in third year, really enjoyed the course so far. Third year is very full on with exams and assignments and I also have my practical OSCE exams come September time. My favourite units have been emergency and critical care and anaesthetics. really enjoy these. They're really, really challenging, but they're really rewarding as well. And I also like that the course is very hands-on, very practical. There's loads of equipment in college that you can use to practice, like diagnostic imaging and taking bloods, placing IV lines. And you get to go into work then and put these all to practice as well, which helps with your MPL. Um, this year everything went to online learning which I thought it's a big change, it's going to be really difficult but it's been okay. Um, we use uh, the Teams app and you can actually record lectures which I've actually found really handy. So if I'm struggling with an assignment or studying for an exam I can go back on and re-watch a lecture and there's also materials that can be uploaded on there as well and you can contact the tutors on there so you can which has been really handy. Thanks to Christine who's given us a good overview of her life as a Level 3 student, uh, her education and career pathway to date and her plans for the future. At this point we're going to pick up on some of the information Siobhan has already given us and Siobhan if I can uh, come to you again and you'd mentioned earlier the applied nature of both the Level 2 and Level 3 courses. Can you describe a typical day for a Level 2 or Level 3 student at Greenmount Campus? Yeah. As I said, both students come in one day a week, so a different cohort comes in on a given day, which at the moment is Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays is the day the different cohorts come in. So they come in one day a week. Um, because the courses are so applied and that they have a, a, a large reliance on being uh, in a work placement, the, the time in college focuses a lot on the theory and the underpinning knowledge that they need. We also demonstrate best practice, so we do have a practical suite um, which is kitted out similar to a veterinary practice where they would fine tune um, and do a lot of repetition of their skills to make sure they're safe. Um, they then immediately would go back to their workplace the next day and start applying that knowledge. So it is very applied um, and they must be in a, a a veterinary practice to be on the course so it's not like you can do the course and do the work experience later they have to run side by side so students would spend a signif significant amount of time in the classroom but also in the practical veterinary nursing suite we also would make use of the IT suites because some of their assessment is actually multiple choice exams which is 
done through your computer. Um, they also make use of the library and other facilities here on campus. Okay, so a really varied day when they're on campus here? Yeah. Okay. And Siobhan, earlier you mentioned that the Level 3 students must be employed in an approved CAFRI training practice or an approved veterinary practice. Can you explain a little bit about what that means? Yes, so that approved training practice status means that CAFRI has been out, viewed that premises and has um, audited it against the RCVS training standards. So the, the RCVS, as we previously mentioned, regulate this profession and the training of, their, of, of nurses that join their register. So they have a training standards that practices must meet. Um, they entrust then training centres like CAFRI to go out and audit premises to, make, to apply suitable training environments for their nurses to train in. So at the moment CAFRI has 56 um, approved training practices across Northern Ireland. They're predominantly in the east of Northern Ireland because again because we're looking at pets and pet ownership, there's a large, obviously, population in the east of Northern Ireland. There is few um, further west, but they are concentrated in the, in the east of, of the province. Um, so really, those practices have been deemed suitable training environments. They have strong caseloads, seeing very varied species, which the nurses need to see, and carrying out you know, quite a significant amount of procedures every day so that the nurse gets a lot of exposure to the skills that they need to uh, develop and be deemed suitable um, and competent before they can complete the course. Okay. And the student, when they're working in the veterinary practice, have they a particular mentor or supervisor? They do. The Again, the practice, part of the approval process would identify uh, clinical coaches so that must be another qualified registered nurse or a small animal vet that would be the clinical coach for that student. They are ultimately the person that is overseeing how they develop their skills and if, if they become a, comp a competent safe practitioner. So they have a very valuable role in the, the training of the students as well. Okay. And if they're a practice manager listening this evening and they're interested in either becoming an approved practice or finding out more about becoming an approved practice, how can they do that? Certainly, my contact details are on the website. Um, the first kind of uh, initiation would be we would send them the training standards. They would make sure that they, if they feel they're ready and can meet those standards, we would arrange then a visit. Um, and that visit then would sign off if it's a suitable training environment. And then ultimately a student would apply to CAFRI to be based um, in that training practice. Okay, thanks. Siobhan mentioned the mix um, on Greenmount campus here between theory and practical. And at this point, we're going to go on another virtual tour, this time of the facilities available in Greenmount campus uh, for veterinary nurse training. And this tour is given by members of our teaching team, Rosie McColgan, Louise Patterson, and Judith Graham. We offer a Level 2 Certificate in Veterinary Care Support course aimed at students who wish to train as an Auxiliary Veterinary Care Assistant and a Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing. Both courses focus on the care and support of companion animals or common family pets. On campus, students have full access to the Veterinary Nursing Centre, which mirrors aspects of their working environment in a veterinary practice. The Veterinary Nursing Centre contains x-ray equipment, anaesthetic equipment, an ultrasound machine and a surgical suite. Staff make use of a range of skeletons and anatomical mannequins to illustrate the anatomy of the companion animals which students will be learning about. The students also have access to the Greenmount Laboratories which have a range of microscopes, centrifuges and refractometers to carry out common veterinary tests. Students who are enrolled on the Level 2 or Level 3 course spend a considerable amount of time in their chosen veterinary practice. They will be working with a clinical team of nurses and vets in practice while spending one day a week on campus. The level of the course will determine what duties and clinical skills that can be taught to the student. Level 2 students will develop important auxiliary nursing skills to support the registered veterinary nurse and vet in practice. By working and learning on campus and in practice simultaneously, students get to put their skills into use every day in the veterinary practice. Level 3 student nurses work towards joining the professional register for veterinary nurses held by the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. To join the register, CAFRI Level 3 student nurses must demonstrate they have mastered the day one skills expected of any nurse who trains in the UK. 
These day one skills relate to the safe and effective care of small animals and ensure the highest standards of care are maintained within the profession. Such skills include safe working practices, maintaining an animal's accommodation, providing feed and water, and carrying out basic nursing care. Level 2 students will also learn the anatomy of the companion animals they will be looking after in practice. Students will be shown the correct and safe methods of preparing and supporting the patient for investigative procedures such as endoscope, ultrasound and x-ray examinations. Students will learn important life-saving techniques and how they can support the veterinary team during life-saving procedures. All Level 3 student nurses focus on the essential Day 1 core skills necessary to carry out safe and effective general practice nursing, support common procedures and treatments in cats, dogs, rabbits and guinea pigs. However, once qualified, nurses can specialise in various aspects of veterinary nursing, for example orthopaedic or emergency nursing. I hope I have been able to show you CAFRI provides unique facilities bespoke for training those who wish to work within small animal veterinary care and nursing. The underpinning knowledge and practical skills taught on campus reinforce the time spent in a veterinary practice, ensuring students are fully trained, competent, safe practitioners in the profession. I hope you're finding our virtual event informative and remember we're live so keep giving us the thumbs up and if you have any questions please remember to submit those. Uh, Siobhan turning back to you again I know um, in the course of your day and, and each week you receive a number of queries and questions from prospective students and maybe just to pick up on a couple of those questions that come in most frequently. Firstly are the courses in veterinary nursing available at any other of the CAFRI campuses? No, both courses are only available here at Greenmount Campus near Antrim. And again, that's reflective, as I mentioned, uh, a large percentage of the small animal practices and animal hospitals would be located in the, in the east of Northern Ireland. So about two thirds of our approved practices would be you know, east of, uh, of Loch Ness. So that's where um, this is the most suitable uh, campus and where the veterinary nursing training suite is. Okay, and Siobhan, are the students who join those courses, are they mostly school leavers? Certainly for the level two would attract um, probably about a third immediate school leavers coming from GCSEs um, and the other, the other students that would be attracted to level two would be those that are initially wanting to change career. So the average age of our students would be early 20s um, and even for the level three course um, currently our average age would be about 25. Um, so the level three certainly would not attract an immediate school leaver, although there's a lot of interest from people leaving school. To get a training position um, uh, for that level three can prove very difficult. Um, so it does take students a number of years um, to secure that. So for the level three, we really don't attract an immediate school leaver, but the level two is a really good entry point. It's a one year course, as I've said, and it really gives people that kind of understanding that this is the right career choice. So again, that, that would be a really useful starting point for people either changing career or coming from school. Mm -hmm. And we heard from Christine earlier, and Christine had completed the level two course and then progressed on to the level three diploma that she's completing now. Do many students make that transition? Um, a, a significant number do, George. Um, the reasons why somebody mightn't immediately would be because they may not have been in a training practice. So once they've completed the level two, they really have to be uh, and can only progress if they're in an improved training practice. However, we would really reaffirm students that by that point they've got a year's work experience, they would be leaving with a really good reference. Um, so they can maybe continue working as a veterinary care assistant for a few years uh, before they make that progression to the level three. Um, so there is a significant number do progress, but some maybe realise that uh, small animals wasn't their particular interest and they maybe after the level two go off and do two other courses here at CAFRI, maybe equine or agriculture, or we've, we've some that then just work as an animal nursing assistant, which again, um, they've, they've trained to do. Okay, thanks. For those students who complete the level three diploma, their ultimate aim is to become a registered veterinary nurse uh, and work full time as a registered nurse in a practice. Uh, we're going to hear now from one student who has done just that. Vicky McAllister recently completed the level three diploma and is now a registered veterinary nurse working in practice. Hi everyone, my name is Vicky McAllister and I'm a registered veterinary nurse at Vets for Pets Lisburn. 
I was able to achieve this job role after undertaking the Level 3 Diploma of Veterinary Nursing at Greenmount College, Caffrey. Veterinary Nursing has been my dream job for a long time and it's not just cuddling puppies and kittens as everyone thinks, it's a whole lot more. My day-to-day -day life ranges from running nurse clinics for second vaccinations, to assisting the vet with prepping the animals for surgery, carrying out radiology, taking blood samples, to also cleaning and providing appropriate accommodation for each patient and then on top of that, comforting and reassuring the owners. A lot of people think veterinary nurses just need to be animal lovers, but you need to have a good level of customer care and be able to understand and help the owners in a sensitive manner. So why Caffrey? For me, I loved the opportunity it gave to be able to study and work at the same time. This meant that not only was I able to learn the theory, but I was able to put it into practice every day when I was in work. When you become an RVN, you have to be able to carry out day one skills. And working in a training practice as I went through the course gave me the confidence to ensure I knew exactly what was expected of me and that I felt confident carrying out the day one skills. I absolutely loved my time at CAFRI. It was three of the best years I've had in education. The veterinary nursing team were incredible and so supportive. Don't get me wrong, the course content is hard going and intense, but if you put in the effort and work with the team, you'll get through it. CAFRI provides amazing experiences such as class trips to the Enniskill and campus, so you gain experience with horses, group sessions, lab practice, and of course cuddles with Dexter and Blue, who belong to one of the tutors and they are firm favourites with everyone. Louise, who is a veterinary nurse and one of the tutors in CAFRI, helped organise a project with GAP Africa for a group of students to go to South Africa and help out at a conservation reserve for two weeks. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity and has bonded our entire group for life. So attending CAFRI is so much more than just going to college. One piece of advice I would give to those who are thinking of attending CAFRI for the veterinary nursing diploma is to believe in yourself, push yourself and put in the work. Remember to use every resource CAFRI has on offer to help you along the way and you'll enjoy every second. Oh, and make sure to go to the Cyber Cafe where Donna makes a great cup of coffee. Thanks for listening. Thanks to Vicky for taking her time out to tell us about her role as an RVN. And as we've been listening to Vicky, uh, Siobhan, we have a couple of questions that have come in uh, from Sandra and Hannah. And the questions are similar and are quite similar to questions I know you have been getting. And essentially, they're asking, due to the COVID restrictions and due to the pandemic, it is proving more difficult to secure a training place in a practice. And what advice could you give to both Sandra and Hannah yeah. uh, going forward? Um, certainly, uh, during this academic year, we, we have found that a lot of students um, are struggling to secure either a placement for level two or level three. All I would ask, uh, Hannah and Sandra to do is be persistent and polite when approaching practices. Certainly probably refocus at level two as an entry point and the reason I say that is that they can approach any veterinary practice whereas in level three they have a, a limited pool of approved practices and traditionally students that are going into level three may already have been that practice as level two student and could be their level two student this year or the previous year. So I would ask them probably to do up a really good CV, um, circulate that to practices in their area and certainly they may have to widen their net. Um, we have had students that have relocated from the west to the east of the province to Belfast and bigger populations where there's a lot more small animal practices. Certainly look at that. Um, I know it's very difficult even to get into vets at the moment, but maybe email them, follow that up. Um, a lot of students find that pre-COVID they would have got work experience, they would have maybe had a Saturday job or um, volunteered um, as even a kennel assistant or a job as a receptionist. And through that, their aptitude for the role um, grew and it really showed their, their employer that they had the, the potential to train in the clinical side of the practice. So really try and grab any opportunity, um, but I would ask them probably to relook and maybe look at the level two purely because it opens up a lot more practices mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. they can approach. Thanks Siobhan, that's really useful information. Um, Siobhan mentioned that uh, for both the level two and level three courses, the students uh, attend campus one day a week for their, uh, the knowledge element of their course. And we're now going to have another virtual tour uh, this time it's of our teaching and learning facilities and that tour is given by not a veterinary nursing student but by an agric agriculture student, uh, William Hendry.
my name is William Hansry and I'm a first year student here in the Foundation Degree in Agriculture and Technology course. I would like to show you around and let you see what's on offer for students who choose to live on campus. The under 18 students live in either Boyd or Fulton Hall. The bedrooms in Boyd Hall are en suite and are cosy and comfortable while Fulton Hall has a single study bedrooms which are shared bathroom facilities for a small number of students. The over 18 students stay in the self-catering accommodation in the student village, either in one of the bungalows or a lodge. Around 12 students live in each of the lodges and three in each of the bungalows. The bedrooms in the lodges are all en suite and there is a shared kitchen, sitting room, laundry facilities. Every evening, students living in campus accommodation are looked after by the residential support team. These staff with the Student Representative Council arrange activities for the students like going to the cinema, ice skating, various sporting activities or outings to Belfast. There is a gym in Greenmount Resource Centre and Sports Hall as well. The residential support team also look after the safety and security of students when they are on site. The main place to eat on campus is the Manor Restaurant which is open throughout the day from 8 in the morning to 6 at night and provides a great range of meals. The Cyber Cafe which is in Greenmount Resource Centre also offers snacks and drinks from 10 in the morning so there's absolutely no excuse for anybody to go hungry. Most under 18 students have a cater card which their parents or guardians preload with money so you don't have to carry cash about which is very handy. One of the main places on campus for classes and recreation is the Greenmount Resource Centre or as we call it, the GRC. This is where most of the classrooms, lecture theatres and IT suites are. The Student Services Manager Leslie Ann's office is here too and she can help with any queries or issues you may have. Also, this is where some of the residential support team are found in the evenings. The Cyber Cafe is also located in the GRC and serves food which is also the main social hub for students to hang out. There's TVs, pool tables, football as well as table tennis and computers to play games on. The core to any college is the library and I have to say all the students love the newly refurbished library here at Greenmount. It has a great selection of relevant journals and books as well as an extensive collection of e-learning materials. The library is also a great place to study if you want just a bit of peace and quiet. Greenmount is only three miles away from the town of Antrim. It has everything you will need in terms of shopping, cafes, restaurants and entertainment and it is also around 30 minutes from Belfast. When you live on campus it is so easy to make friends and there is a real sense of community. Living away from home has made me much more independent and I love the freedom of doing my own thing. I hope you enjoyed the tour and maybe I will see you here next year. Thanks to William for that quick tour of our facilities, which has hopefully given you a good flavour of the, the, the different facilities that are available to you as a potential veterinary nurse. Now, William mentioned in his uh, virtual tour the student accommodation. Uh, normally, because our veterinary nursing students just come on campus one day a week, well, then they don't uh, take up accommodation. But um, the range of facilities, the, the classrooms, the libraries, the IT suites, are all used by all students on the campus. We're almost at the end of our virtual event, but we're still live, so remember, thumbs up just as we come to the conclusion. I want to just take a couple of minutes to sum up on some of the information that we've given you this evening. Siobhan told us about the two courses that we offer in veterinary nursing, the one-year level two uh, certificate in veterinary nursing care, and students come to Caffrey one day a week for the theory elements of the course and work in a veterinary practice to develop their practical skills for a minimum of 18 hours a week. We then have the level three diploma in veterinary nursing. That is the course that uh, leads to uh, a level three qualification, but also enables the, the, student, the student nurse to uh, convert from a student status to a registered veterinary nursing status with the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons and practice then in a veterinary practice as an RVN. Students uh, coming on that course 
Uh, again, uh, come to CAFRI one day a week, come to Greenmount Campus. They also are employed in an approved CAFRI veterinary training practice and the course itself takes uh, two and a half years to complete. Details of both courses and other information relating to both courses can be found on our website, caffrey.ac.uk, and you'll also find a detailed webinar given by Siobhan, uh, which goes into a little bit more detail on both courses. We also have an application helpline uh, for those interested in applying. That is 0800 028 4291. That's 0800 028 4291. So thank you for taking the time this evening to watch our virtual event. Uh, I want to thank Siobhan uh, for coming along and helping me explain the courses available to you. To our students, Christine and Vicky, for telling you about their life as both a veterinary nursing student and now a qualified veterinary nurse. And to the teaching team and to others who have given you virtual tours of our campus. Thanks also to all in the production team that have uh, made this night possible um, and enabled you to see and hear about the veterinary nursing courses. So thank you for listening, thank you for watching and to finish uh, we have another short video which uh, showcases some of the key people you'll meet uh, during your time as a student at Greenmount Campus. Thank you for watching and good evening. Caffrey staff supporting you to achieve your potential. Hello, I'm the Greenmount Librarian and I manage our learning resources in the library. The library was refurbished a couple of years ago and provides a welcoming place to study. Students love to come here to get books, journals or e-learning materials. It's also a great place to research on your own or in groups. As Simon due dates approach, the library can get really busy, but I'm always on hand to offer support. As the Student Support Officer for CAFRI, my role is to help those students who declare additional needs, such as dyslexia. I help make the transition from school to college life and have the support in place to help them complete their CAFRI qualification. I usually meet the student before they start their course and agree a bespoke programme of support. This may include extra time for exams or allocation of support tutors if needed. I am also the leading safeguarding officer for CAFRI and will work in partnership with all my education colleagues to ensure that all learners receive a high level of pastoral care.